All right, so one of my favorite sneaker topics right here, sneakers under $100. I have love for shoes that are under $100. I'm not just into the hype stuff. Honestly, you wear the shoes that are affordable more often than the hype stuff. You tend to baby those sneakers. You're like, these are worth X amount of dollars. I gotta keep them clean. I'm gonna trade these one day, I'm gonna sell them one day. The footwear that you pick up for around $100 you get more wear out of. On top of that, I enjoy showing you sneakers for people that are on a budget, people that might not wanna spend a couple hundred dollars on a pair of shoes. So five affordable options that I'm gonna show you here. Each one of these pairs is gonna be linked for you down in the description. Let's get into it. Okay, first up we have some classics. One of the best sneakers under $100 is absolutely the Puma Suede. Big shout out to Puma, they have sponsored today's video. Puma in general and the Suede model is no stranger to this channel. I've been sharing Puma Suede's on this channel since it started. Let me show you one of my favorite pairs before I show you some of these classics. These are a pair I'm never getting rid of. Look at these bad boys right here, the Anwar Carrots, an old collaboration but we're not talking about these today but still one of my favorite Puma suede's never leaving the collection we are talking about the core black and white model look how clean these are I used to be all about the black and white one shift I'm making is getting more navy sneakers into my collection I have a navy and white pair that I had been wearing for over 10 years honestly it was one of my first Instagram posts and it hurt me. I got rid of them just recently. But if you need a little bit of color in your life, obviously the red joints are a go-to, especially in the spring and the summertime. Both of these would go well with the sweatshirt that I'm rocking, to be honest. The best thing about the Puma Suede's, they're 75 bucks. I'll link them for you guys down in the description. They fit true to size, in my opinion. A nice roomy, true to size. And truly, this is one of the best bangs for your buck because these never go out of style. This is not a trendy sneaker. Unlike a lot of the shoes out there, some that are on this list, they're trendy. A couple of years from now, maybe even a year from now, we'll look back and be like, nah, I'm not feeling these. Puma suede's never go out of style. And honestly, they fit with multiple different genres of styles. So if you're into streetwear, they work. If you're into classy, preppy menswear stuff, they work. If you're into BMX and skateboarding, they work. If you're into punk rock, whatever it is, they work for sure. So this is a great $75 pickup. Big shout out to Puma. Let's get into the rest of the items. Okay, next up, we have two new pickups from New Balance. So I just picked these up and honestly, they gave me a little bit of a made in USA vibe and if you know New Balance made in USA sneakers they cost close to $200 but not the 574. 574 hits for 85 bucks. I saw this clean colorway and I went ahead and snagged it. You've got leather on here which is not something you see too often on a 574 and it's actually pretty nice leather. A little bit of canvas on the toe box. Suede is present on the tongue and that back panel. But just check out this colorway. How clean are these? They're in an off-white cream color, and then you've got that royal blue hit. So I'm getting married in a few weeks, and I wanted to have a pair that I could just kick around in, have with me for the wedding that was easy to bring along. Maybe I'll give a couple pairs out to some friends right here, man. So these 574s are making the trip with me. And then on top of that, you know the classic gray is a must. Just got a pair of these not long ago. And look how gritty the gray is on this classic 574. It's different than the standard gray New Balance. This one is just more rugged. It's got a little bit more of a streetwear feel. Honestly, if I'm rocking this shoe, I'm thinking about rocking it in a streetwear way. Not exactly the cardigan and slim fit pant way that you see a lot of people wearing this shoe. Make it a little bit more rugged, you'll enjoy it better. One thing you'll notice is that I got five sneakers on this list and five different footwear brands. So continuing with that theme, we've got some Nike Air Force Ones. The retail price is $150, so why are they in this video? And that is because they are priced way too high. Naturally, they went on sale. This one I've been rocking a lot with the gum outsole. These are the color of the month pair. So better leather on here, 
a better shape and original colorways pretty much. I've had this pair for a minute. It goes with a lot of the different outfits that I've been rocking, but there is another pair I just picked up for under $100. So I will link the sale to these for you guys down in the description. And that's it for these shoes because you've heard so many people talk about AF1s and I've talked about them for a long time. I don't need to beat a dead horse. You know the deal. But when you can get a premium pair under $100, I gotta point it out. Okay, moving on. This next brand, I can't remember the last time I featured them. I'm not the biggest A6 guy. When it comes to retro runners, I prefer New Balance. I prefer Nike. I prefer Adidas. However, recently there has been some models that have caught my eye. And there's a couple that I'm probably gonna get. This one in particular is affordable. It's pretty awesome. This is a nice bang for your buck. I got this pair for $80, I believe. Retail is 95. I could totally see these being 120, 130, so good deal right here. So without further ado, we have the Asics Gel 1130 in the white and ironclad colorway. Right out of the gate, this is that comfortable, supportive pair that you can wear all day. Unfortunately, a lot of affordable options don't have great tech in them. They're not supportive. They're not as comfortable. They're pretty minimal. A lot of times you won't find shoes like this that are under $100. So Asics must know what they're doing. They have a certain audience that they are going for. And guess what? The fashion bros have found out about this sneaker. These are certainly on trend. They're popular right now. You can get a pair of these right now in a bunch of different colors. This one I liked the most because of that aged midsole. See that aged midsole right there? You don't really see that on shoes like this. You got a little bit of sage green in there, some orange, and then that ironclad is that navy-ish gray color, even a little bit of silver that you're seeing a lot of these retro runners feature. Sizing wise, I went up a half a size and I am happy that I did. I got a little bit of extra room in a shoe like this, you really don't wanna be snug. You wanna have a little bit of extra room, so I would suggest going up a half a size or if you like a snug, true to size fit, it'll work. If there are any ASICs models that you guys would recommend, definitely leave it down in the comment section. We got one more pair, so let's get into it. Okay, black Adidas box, and I just got these. I'm doing a dedicated Adidas video. These are in that. I'm not sure which one is appearing first on this channel, but if this is the first one, this is the first time you're gonna see these, or you can go check out that video if you wanna see more Adidas stuff. Retailing at $85, we have the Adidas Busnitz, and this is an extremely appropriate summertime colorway. I have not worn these yet because I wanted to feature them in this video. I had to have that nice, clean, white outsole, but right after this, man, they are going on feet. This is that one model that you've probably seen a lot of people wear and maybe you just haven't tried out yet. But trust me, they are good. For an $85 shoe, the materials are pretty nice. Decent suede, the leather is soft, and obviously you've got that gold Busnitz detail on the side there. But what stands out the most are those red three stripes. They are very clean. If you prefer a white and blue colorway, they also have that. You guys can settle this for me. I wasn't sure which one of these shoes I was going to show here. Ultimately decided on the Busnitz, but I was also considering the Reebok BB4002. Even though that these are a retro basketball sneaker, essentially, they kind of have a, a skateboarding vibe. So there you go, man. Some nice, affordable options. If you enjoyed this affordable sneaker content, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. If you are new around here, it's not all about the hyped options. I love featuring stuff like this. So if you enjoy it as well, please hit a like and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you guys. Everything is down in the description. I'll catch you next time. Peace.